Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. My name is Kim Warner, and I am your host today. And um, I just wanted to chat a little bit about some things that, you know, I post on Facebook. I got an email from someone saying that um, I, they felt I was being judgmental. And that is an opinion. I don't even take it in um, uh, this harding light. What I will address, though, is the fact of the matter that there is men and women that are committing adultery in their relationship. It's not for me to tell them not to do it. What I would say is to the individuals that partake in it, where is the value in your self-worth? You see, we don't tell anybody what to do. What we do is bring awareness to issues. For instance, the reason why the Ten Commandments states that thou shall not commit adultery is because of age um, circumstances. And the other thing is because when you sleep with two and three and four men or five, I mean women, um, what's going to happen is diseases are possible to be um, acquired and spread. And so what people don't really understand is that the Ten Commandments itself as a moral um, navigator is not religion. It is a um, practice that's set in stone truly by Moses from the Spirit of God within him to set a standard for people. Now, if there's people that don't want to follow those rules, that's fine. And as I said, you know, I got an email uh, concerning um, my position of judgment. I'm not judging anybody. I'm just posting because there's a lot of people out there that are hypocrites, you know, and if you are a hypocrite and you're living in that phase that has to do with something that I said, of course you might get upset until you really sit down and think about what is being said. I mean, in the essence of adultery, you have the Ten Commandments. Adultery has to do with someone that is not married, number one, they are to practice abstinence because of the virtue in their own body. That means that they have a covenant relationship, whether they know it or not, with God. That's the first thing. So we bring that awareness. If somebody asks me what's wrong with adultery and they wanted to learn, then I would teach them. You know, but it's hard to teach people when all they want to do is embrace drama. On social media, I'm going to post positive things and things that will bring families together and heal families simply because if we don't work at that, what's going to happen to our species, humans? What's going to happen to us? You know, um, I don't want to get into the fact of the matter that people are being killed all over the place. I mean, police are, um, you know, working in uh, brutality at a rate that I've never seen. And I'm a baby boomer. I was born in the 60s. And so my mother and them told me about some things that people went through with discrimination. But if we do not bring awareness to families, to husbands and wives concerning adultery and other things, gossip, um, maliciousness and anger, uh, then what, what happens is people will never, ever learn how they should um, act as human beings. It doesn't matter if you get a desire. What matters is that you discipline the desire, which is what most religions are teaching uh, men and women. Um, then we go into the, the matter of the fact concerning when we go to church. Now, I want to say this here. I don't have anything against church. I believe in the Holy Spirit. You know, I belong to an apostolic church speaking in tongues and all of that. But I had to step away from the church because of the doctrine. It's not that I can't follow rules, but when you have people that are going to church to simply dress up and not dress up their spirit uh, for, for the Lord Jesus, then we got a problem. And so all of this is intermingled in uh, the post for adultery. Judging? No. 
trying to get some attention uh, or awareness across to people so that we can uh, one by one make some changes and come together as a community. Yes, that's what I'm doing. So I am grateful for the email because I would get to explain further. And anybody that needs help um, concerning um, discipline practices, behavior and mental health you can hit me up at ifwbuilders at gmail.com and uh, you can also find me on Facebook and um, I do classes if you are interested in classes um, you can also email me on that and I will get right back to you so we want to come together collectively in awareness God bless you and have a wonderful day Thank you.